Okay, welcome back everybody. It's our ultimate backyard barbecue and today is all about the main course. First thing we made were my uh, ribs and beer. They were to die for. Second, we made Tom Rasmussen from Appleton's Shrimp Taco with guacamole and that jicama slaw, also just dynamite. And now, uh, this is gonna be a tough one, Brianna. This is Brianna Rowe <laughs> from Kiwani. Are you up to the challenge? I'm off against some serious competition. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think you're gonna do just fine. Brianna and I were talking, um, we're doing turkey on the grill. and. I used to do it more often and I've actually forgotten about doing it. So I got to do it this summer. It's really? delicious. And it's so easy to do too. I mean, and nothing is easier. You put it on the grill, you let it go, add some coals every once in a while, you're good to go. So <laughs> much great flavor. Um, turkey's inexpensive. It's really nice and light. And when you grill it, um, it just, you know, that flavor from, you do it on a charcoal grill. We which do. Really, you yeah, know, gets so it's a little bit more, there. but I mean, yeah. whatever works for you, whatever fits your yeah cooking style. Leftovers make a great <laughs> turkey sandwich. So, um, you know, do turkey on the grill this summer. Brianna does have a few tips and tricks though, because we've all had that turkey that was, especially the breast part, a little bit dry. Yeah, you know nobody I mean? likes the turkey jerky. <laughs> no, no, not at all. So you are a big fan of brining. Um, I am. So explain to people what that is and how we do that. Sure. Brining basically is submersing the entire turkey in a liquid bath overnight. Okay infuses all the flavors, the juices, the everything, makes it nice and juicy. Okay. So what I start with is a gallon of water. Okay. And I don't want to splash you. No, you're fine. <laughs> I got my apron on. That's why I wear aprons. So in a big old soup kettle, because we're going to actually bring this to a boil and right. um, really let the flavors get in there. So this is a, uh, you know, you've got people coming over. This is a day before deal. Get it, it going the day before. It is a day, day before. before deal. We do this a lot for holidays. My dad is my mentor pretty much. He teaches me how to do this kind of stuff. I love it. <laughs> um, we have some rosemary. Okay. Tablespoon, some thyme, some sage, and some savory. I don't know what order I'm putting these in. Doesn't so matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And you know what? Um, this is all stuff that we have on hand anyway. It is. It's, I mean? it's it's easy to yeah. have. Now this is one of the secrets. This is um, a better than bouillon. You can find it near the chicken stock. And yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I don't like using the cubes because there's so much salt in there. So the better than bouillon is a more concentrated version of that. Okay. Basically with less salt. It, it comes in chicken, beef, uh, seafood, and this you're using the vegetable base. The vegetable base is the one I'm using today. Okay. So you're going to use um, a gallon's worth basically of that. And then what's going to happen is you're going to stir this all in, bring it to a boil, and once it's down to room temperature. What about the salt? What is that? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I <laughs> saw that big thing of salt over there. Three quarters of a cup of salt. If you are using um, a turkey that is not fresh, it's better to use less salt because when they inject it, it does have the a lot of sodium is injected when they use it. Okay, so we use three quarters of a cup. If you're going to get a frozen turkey and thaw it, maybe a quarter of a cup or half. Well, this is actually frozen thawed turkey, so okay. a fresh turkey, not frozen, use a full cup. Versus oh, a three okay, of a cup. got it. Okay, so we had all those herbs. We had a little bit, tablespoon or so of the um, vegetable base, better than bouillon, some salt, water, bring that to a boil, let it cool. Yep, it has to be at room temperature. Room temperature. Then okay. what you're going to do is my dad works at a paint store, so Perfect. he hooks me up with the bucket. Love it. So we got a big, <laughs> big bucket, bucket that's clean it or clean. a pickling bucket or, or something, something like that. of that yeah, nature, yeah. yeah. And then you're going to dump that in there with a gallon of ice water. Okay, on top of the, the this, so another whole gallon of water. Correct, okay? correct. And then make sure when you submerge the turkey that you get that inside cavity and make sure you clean out your turkey because that's Pull all not the stuff stuffing. Out. Yeah, no, no. I'm actually, the first time I cooked it, I left that little bag of giblets in there. I learned though. Um, so yeah, in it goes, cover it up in the refrigerator 24 hours. Overnight, 24 hours, whatever is okay. best, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, out it comes. This is the next day. This is yep, our this little is Tom turkey. Brine. Um, and we pull them out and then pat them dry. And pat them dry, right? Okay. You're going to pat them dry. Okay. Then what you're going to do is fill the inside. I like to stuff the inside because it just adds even more flavor. I use half lemons. Okay. When they get in there. Yes. I use garlic. So several cloves of whole garlic yep. also go into the cavity. I don't even peel mine when I do it, to be honest with you, because it just comes out anyway. Sure. You just want that flavor exactly. to get in there. Exactly. Exactly. And then I use some fresh rosemary. Oh, yum. Everybody loves rosemary. I do too. <laughs> oh, I'm actually growing it. And it's are you really? Pretty easy to grow. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. And then everything gets shoved in there. Okay. Um, I do it on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it goes on indirect heat. Okay. So make sure what, if you're grilling, um, the ch car the charcoal goes on the outside. Use a jerk pan in the middle because of the fat. You don't want to have the flare-ups. Okay. And um, 
the back side needs to be well coated with olive oil so it doesn't stick to the grill. Okay. Throw it on there, 20 minutes per pound. Okay. Crispy, delicious, juicy, yum, tasty. Yum. Check it every once in a while to see how we're doing. If yeah, we're doing you're this, gonna wanna add coals every so often. Or on a gas grill, you're gonna do it on the side that's, you know, you have the burner on the one side and then you have the turkey on the other side. Right, basically. exactly. Uh, however your grill's set up. So here is our Tom Turkey. Use a meat thermometer. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you are gorgeous. Wow, so that's what we're looking for. That is it. Wow, that is a beautiful thing. All right, Chef Jack from Republic Chop House. Oh, that is one perfect turkey. All right, we're going to... I'll let you the carve it. Oh, no, gee, please thanks. do. Well, I will butcher it. <laughs> pretty looking turkey, huh? It is a pretty looking turkey, yes. Wow. Um, have you brined much before? Um, I've done brined turkey one other time. And I've just heard that um, you know, taking that extra step when it comes to turkey pork or even chicken just really makes it nice and moist. So I got to do some more of that. I'm kind of excited about doing this. Yeah, and it's easy. It's not like you have to run out and buy a bunch of expensive ingredients. I just need to, um, I need to hit your dad up for a paint bucket. A paint bucket? Okay. You can actually right. have the one I brought. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> and find room in the fridge. That's the other thing. Look at that. Wow. I can tell how, how juicy that is already. The first piece is always mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. But at Thanksgiving, Ireland and I fight over that first piece. This is a little bit hot. You can smell, uh, you can smell it, the, the, the charcoal and the, mm -hmm. the, the smokiness of it. Wow, perfect. All right, a little bit hot, Jack. Uh, all right. Are you brave? I am. I'm sorry, I don't have any utensils. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'll are let you it kidding? Slide I nibble on the turkey right with my fingers. That is very good. It's very juicy, too. Thank you. Really? It's not dry at Ooh. all. Ooh, he's going in for another bite. <laughs> you know it's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Um, I'll do it to have a piece myself.